Hi, I'm Gavin Giovannoni. I'm the Professor of Neurology at Bart's and the London School of Medicine and Dentistry. I've been asked why the Sizemore study is so important for multiple sclerosis. Well, the biggest problem we face in MS is managing what I would call non-relapsing progressive MS. So this would be people with secondary progressive or primary progressive disease that are getting worse despite having no obvious evidence of inflammation on their MRI scans, so no new lesions uh, and no relapses. And I call this smoldering MS. And we know now that there are quite a few processes that drive smoldering MS. One of them are the slowly expanding lesions on scan. These lesions just get gradually bigger and bigger. And we know at the rim of these lesions, there's a demyelination that's a stripping off of the insulation of nerves and loss of nerve fibers, axons. And what we think is doing that is this rim of hot microglia or activated macrophages. Um, <clears throat> and what we think stimulating them may be immunoglobulin, that's antibodies, um, and the proteins they activate called complement. Also what's driving smoldering MS on the surface of the brain, in the gray matter or in the cortex, there's these diffuse long lesions, what we call the subpeal lesions. Subpeal means below the covering of the brain. And we think what's driving that may be the same process. There may be immunoglobulins uh, and complement activation. So we think the immunoglobulins, <clears throat> the antibodies that are present inside the brain and spinal cord of people with MS are contributing to the uh, damage. Now what produces these uh, uh, antibodies are so-called B cells uh, and the antibody producing factory, the plasma cell that takes up residence inside the brain. So even if you give people with multiple sclerosis the most effective therapies and you stop them having new lesions, relapses and new MRI activity, you don't get rid of those B cells and those plasma cells that are churning out this antibody that's causing them to smolder on or have smoldering MS. So the hypothesis we are testing is to use a uh, what we call a anti-plasma anti cell drug. So this is a drug that's been licensed to treat the malignancy called myeloma, which is a malignancy of plasma cells. And this drug penetrates into the central nervous system and hopefully poisons and kills um, uh, those plasma cells. And what I call uh, scrubs the brain clean of plasma cells and gets rid of those antibodies and therefore potentially will stop those slowly expanding lesions getting bigger and will stop that uh, a sub peel lesion uh, causing the damage. So this is a treatment uh, that we hope will uh, target what I call the real or smoldering component of the disease. We have very effective uh, therapies to stop relapses uh, and new uh, MRI activity, but despite that, we still have a significant number of our uh, patients or people with multiple sclerosis developing progressive disease. So this is actually an add-on therapy uh, to scrub uh, and get rid of the antibodies within the central nervous system that's driving uh, smoldering disease. So this is a really, really important study. I think it's one of the most exciting uh, studies uh, we are doing at the moment. And I would urge you that if you do have multiple sclerosis to please volunteer and come forward for the trial. Um, the drug is relatively safe. Um, there are side effects that we monitor for, uh, and we also have a, uh, a holiday um, where we only use the drug for three weeks at a time, and the fourth week we let the drug wash out and we let um, um, the uh, uh, adverse events uh, recover if they do uh, cause any problems. So please, let's tackle smoldering MS, volunteer for participation. We would love to uh, have you in our trial.